have you ever worked a nine to five or will you yeah. or do you work a nine to five? Yeah. And a I lot sue every job I get. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What I do, I go on a job. I've sued Singular before AT and T. I got forty thousand dollars out of them in two thousand six, July six, two thousand six, for race discrimination and sexual harassment, quid quo pro sexual harassment. Just niggas cracking jokes on the job, right? So what I did, I went and learned employ employment rights. I my last two jobs, I got ten thousand out of that one through OSHA and got another ten thousand dollars through through OSHA. So what I do, I go find a job because I know they got niggas go be violating safety violations. So I'm going to go complain about safety violations. I know some bitch-ass supervisor go get mad about me complaining and start retaliating against me. Then I'm going to make a call to OSHA and say, hey, they unsafe over here. And then I'm going to let them know, yeah, I'm the one called OSHA. And they go fuck with me. And then I'm going to make them pay me $10,000 for retaliation. I get them every time. I get them every goddamn time. I get the warehouse job. Uh, man, I work for a gun distribution company. I got they motherfucking ass. Yeah, I'm a bad motherfucker with suing jobs. So, so you go in there knowing you about to get yeah, a job. Yeah, I, I, man, if motherfucker know I'm going to go get a job, they already know he, he just, I'm the slip and fall nigga. I'm talking about I'm, I got a 100% success rate in suing every job I done work for, some through, either through the EEOC or through OSHA. And I be trying to tell other niggas, say, homie, get in on it. They be scared. And then when I get them and they get fired, they call me back. Say, man, you think, no, nigga, I tried to tell you. It's, 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 it, when you read the employment rights, homie, they say race discrimination is broad. It's so open in America, homie. But the average employee is scared to say something. Sexual, sexual harassment, it goes on all the time. Niggas in the break room talking about who they fucked over the weekend. I'm sitting over there eating. I don't want to hear that shit. Nigga, I don't care about all them hoes. And you doing this every weekend? Well, at some point, I'm going to go to the HR lady and say, Larry and Leroy talking about women they sleep with every weekend. And they need to stop it. Well, guess what? They ain't going to stop it. And after that, I don't, I don't already complain about it because you have to make a complaint and let them know that you are uncomfortable with this conversation. Say, man, I don't want to hear that, homie. They think I'm just being a bullshit-ass nigga. They don't know me. So I let them know. So on January 2nd, at 1230, lunch break, Larry and Leroy were talking about fucking Sheila. So I'm going to keep documentation. So when I go to HR, I'm going to let HR know. Now they're going to be fucking with me. Now I'm a snitch at work. So now they're going to be talking about me, making my work, work environment a hostile working environment. By this time, I'm going to the EEOC and get them. We're going to go to mediation. they go going to ask me what I want. Yeah, and then that's when you tell them what you want. It's Has, so it's so easy to get. I ain't bullshit. And every time you tell them ten bands? Well, uh OSHA, uh uh let me just say this. Uh the Fort Worth office at OSHA, they I asked for fifty thousand last time. They told me take this ten thousand and we go dismiss the case. Now I had a good case, but they so sick of me winning. <laughs> say <laughs> say the motherfuckers so sick of me winning, Sean. You say I can say this no goddamn be sick of me winning. They say, man, take this ten thousand and you man, just it. But I be having legitimate cases, homie, because companies leave themselves open for that, homie. 